All right, good morning. Mr. H here. A um, couple of things to make note of as we start our division with our polynomials. Um, first of all, for those of you searching through your packet as you were looking for this, this is on, I'm still looking through my other, page six of your notes. And when you get to the practice, I'll mention it again, that's going to be on page 14. For those of you in the unit four packet, we're just going to keep rolling right along here. One other thing to mention, we are going to be doing this lesson in two pieces. So today, we will be doing the long division part. We're going to get the rough stuff out of the way. And then we're going to save the much easier and preferred piece for a couple days from now. So if you wonder why I stop after we get done the first page, that's why. Okay. Now, long division. We're going to have a flashback right now. I hope some of you aren't going to get the sweats doing this. Long division from the fourth grade. Now, I'm hoping your teachers still taught you some things like this and didn't just give you the weapon of mass brain distraction here. So, reminder in case it's been a while. When we do division, we're looking to see how many times this number goes into this number. Well, 3 doesn't go into 1 because 3 is bigger than 1. 3 go into 14? Yeah. 4 times. 3 times 4 is 12. And we subtract that pull down our next number and we start again. Now, some of you may be looking at this, especially if at some point we get into some larger numbers, you're like, Hardy, well, what if I don't know off the top of my head how many times, you know, three goes into 22, especially since it doesn't go in evenly. Well, in that case, just pop it in the calculator and whatever the whole number part is, that's how many times it goes in evenly. We'll deal with the decimally part here in a bit. So it goes in seven, seven times three is 21 and we get a one, okay? And then we're not going to put remainder one. We're not going to put R one. We're going to get a complete number out of this. So we take that value. And we divide by what's called our divisor. And that gives us the exact answer. Now, you can quit with the sweats, okay, and the heavy breathing and the hallucinations back from fourth grade here. We're going to do something similar to this, but it's going to be kind of just doing some variables. The numbers probably won't get that big. So one thing I will say. It would benefit you greatly as we get started in this lesson if you have at least two other colors, okay, besides the pen or pencil or whatever it is that you're using. So if you can think of a place that you could find a couple of colors, pause me. Go get a couple of colors and come back because the colors will make things jump and stand out and separate things and make it a lot easier to understand. So if you have to pause me, I'll see you back in a minute. Nice to have you back. So when we get into our polynomial, x minus 3, x squared minus 5x plus 6. I'm going to give myself a little, a little block of area over here. This is where my side work is going to be. You might get to a point when you've done these for a while that you don't need the side work, but probably not going to be for a little bit. So here's how this works. Whatever color you have, first, first step. Okay. First term under division sign, in this case that's x squared, divided by the first term outside the division square, x. So first term divided by first term. Yep, we got to go back and do exponent rules. Subtract, 2 minus 1 is x. That goes up here. So actually it's the same thing that you did originally, you know, first into first. First end up there, we had to do two. Second step. Take that answer that you just got and multiply it times your divisor. This is why we show all this stuff here. So when we go back to look at it later, we can see where the different pieces came into play. And then distribute that out. So x times x is x squared. Again, not 2x. We're adding exponents. And x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Okay, so where's that going to go? That's going to go below here. Now, this is where it gets a little more interesting and where I tend to like to do something a little different. So here, normally when we're doing subtraction, I'm going to show you a couple of different options here. You're going to have to pick your own. Okay. We're subtracting just like we did up here. 
personal preference. I tend to forget, and we talked about this some when we were doing the adding and subtracting with polynomials, that when you do it this way, you tend to forget the second one and things get messed up. So here's my suggestion. I like to distribute that negative through by changing the signs of everything. Now, if you're comfortable with the minus and can remember that, that's fine, but here's why I like doing it this way. With addition, now x squared minus x squared, oh, they cancel out, okay, and they're supposed to. Negative five plus three is negative two x, because way too many times, if you see this, here's what I see students do, x squared minus x squared, okay, that's gone. Oh, negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8x. I see it so much because we all tend to forget that that negative is coming all the way across and changing signs. So by me doing it right away, it helps me so I don't get into that bind. Just a thought, though. If you're comfortable looking at that and you think you can look at that and know that minus a negative is positive and that you can get that to negative 2, you go right ahead. You are a better person than I. So, Okay. We get to here, and then just like we do with normal division. Okay, that's kind of done with our first part. We bring our next term down, just like we did here, and we start the process over again, hence second color. Same idea. First term divided by first term. This time the x's cancel. I get negative 2 minus 2. And I do that same thing. So now how's that work again, Hardy? I take this number, whatever this value is I got in step one, and I'm going to multiply it by my divisor. So that part's never going to change. Distribute that through. Negative times negative is positive. Little things, little things. Negative 2x plus 6. Again, when we're subtracting... That's the same thing as adding the opposite. Negative 2 plus 2, gone. 6 minus 6, gone. There's no remainder. That's my answer. Now before you ask me, is there a shortcut? Occasionally there is. That's why we don't show you synthetic right away because everyone wants to do synthetic on everything and that doesn't work every time and you're going to see why in a minute. So we need to learn both ways. Okay. So that's all there is to these. So let's play with another one. Okay. Same thing. Divisor. Got my colors ready and just keep it if you speak out the steps as you do them again with me doing it and then you do it later you're hearing you're seeing you're doing all those different ways are going to help you to get there so here we go first term divided by first term two minus one is one okay or x that goes up here Now take that answer, x, multiply it times your divisor. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is 1x. And that, now I've had people ask me before, Mr. Hardy, can I just, when I get to this part, switch the signs on both of them right away and add down? Isn't that basically what you're doing already? The answer is yes. Okay, if that works better to you, if that's cleaner to you so it doesn't get confusing, you absolutely can do that. The reason I'm going to continue to keep going this route is, again, on a note sheet, I want you to think about what you're doing. And sometimes... This just kind of reminds me of that. 
So here, your first term should always cancel. X squared minus X squared, they do. 6 minus 1 is 5X. Bring my next term down. And do the process one more time. So we've got first term divided by first term. Get my 5. Plus 5. And then distribute that 5 through to your divisor. So 5x plus 5. Ooh, we have a different issue. Okay. So when I go to subtract that, I change my signs around here. 5x minus 5x cancels. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Okay, so Hardy, now what do I do? Because I have a number left. Negative 3, I can't divide it by x. There's no x's left. Remember when we were up here and we said we took this value and divided it by this value? To make the last part, we're going to do the same thing here. It's going to look weird, but we're, oh, oh, but we're going to do it. Minus 3 over our divisor. Okay, whatever answer you get at the bottom. And again, you could put plus negative 3 if that makes more sense to you. I just put the minus because I see it here. But we're always going to be dividing by our divisor, just like we did here with the number. Okay? All right, we had to get one chunky one in here for you. Had to do it. Okay, here's the other thing I'm going to mention ahead of time, and I'll say this again when we do our synthetic division. If you have a coefficient, that you're working with. That's when we have to go towards long division, when we get into coefficients, mainly with our divisor. But again, we want flexibility. So this one's going to be a little longer, but we got a little more room, then we're done for today. So you've almost survived long division. All right. We got all kinds of room over here, so I'm not going to worry about squiggling it off as much, but I'll do it a little bit. All right. You know the drill at this point. Now, if you're feeling confident, maybe you try this on your own and pause me and then unpause me when you're done and see if we get the same thing. I mean, I don't know, whatever you got to do. So first term divided by first term. Again, that X is just going to subtract one from what I already have. So 4X squared. And again, take that answer and multiply by your divisor. And make sure that I don't end up writing on my head. So again, when I do this, it always should work out where my first terms cancel out and they do, that's the right answer. So here's where this one's a little different. We have an extra term this time. So negative five plus four is negative one X squared. Pull everything down, okay? Everything that's left after this, bring it all, because we're gonna use it all at one point or another anyway. So we get to this point, and we're ready to start over. First term divided by first term. 2 minus 1 is 1, so negative 1x or just negative x is fine. And just keep the process going. Oop. Negative 1x. This is why I say have this stuff handy when you're doing this stuff. When you're doing especially the online stuff to have everything right in front of you. And you just get on a run. It's like anything else. Once you practice something and you keep doing it, it becomes more natural to you. That was true when you started walking, when you started playing an instrument, when you started shooting baskets, any of those things. The more repetition you get, the better you get. Change my signs. X's cancel. 
I mean, x squared cancel, excuse me. 2 minus 1 is 1x minus 1. You're like, I thought we were done. There, once the, if there's still an x left here, we've got to keep going. I know. I know. One last time. I promise we're not going past one more time. Last time. 1x divided by x is 1. Okay, come back here for a minute. Is 1. Distribute that 1 through. Well, 1 doesn't really... Oh, oh, there I go, writing on myself. 1, again, doesn't really do much when we distribute. It's going to be x minus 1. And look what happens. 1x minus 1x, negative 1 plus 1, no remainder this time, and we're good. Okay, so again, for those of you working in the big old semester long packet, page 14 in the homework is what you're going to be looking for. For those of you in just this one, we are going to start, I know, I'm being funny, fun <laughs> with dividing polynomials. So. Divide each question using both methods. Now notice, there's only three questions on the sheet. Today, do the three with long. And I would kind of, you know, uh, about like this, okay? Leave this for your long, and then synthetic is not going to take us as much room. Give you a little preview there. So that is it for today. As always, let me know if you have questions, and I mean that. Okay, don't put stuff off. Don't be like, nope, just not going to do this. Get everything done. Get everything situated. I'm here to walk with you. Let's get her done. We'll see you next time.